watching 16 bit brothers they're arguing do you have a monkey in your pants all right folks just a very quick pickup video for you um in 1080p again suck on them nipples anyway um <laughs> what a car boot sale this morning middle morning it was quite late on because the wife went out on a cycle ride with one of her friends that's what it was and uh, got a couple of items there um a couple of ps1 items always happy when i find ps1 items uh, at car boot sales because very rarely do i find ps1 games at car boot sales and then um, it obviously helps my ever expanding ps1 collection one decent game one absolute shite game and one that's probably a wee bit shite but anyway um fucking inlays falling out of this one hold on let me fix it let's sing a song no yes so the first game i've got guys is a um, let's say it's ps1 game it's probably shite but some kiddies ps1 games are actually quite fun for some bizarre reason the first game that i got is a uh, rugrats oh my god look at the glare it, from every direction there we go sweet spots down here Rugrats on the PS1 and um, the box is actually in really good condition. It's boxed and complete as well So it's another one for the collection now this one um, The inlay is just a little bit folded over, but it's boxed and complete. That's easily fixable And um, I know of this game and the only reason I know of it is because it's really badly It's just a bad game. I think the controls and everything are, I think are, are shockingly bad um, it's an early PS1 game 122 I think it is but um, it's just a really bad early 3D game in general. But I saw it and I've not got it, so I thought, yep, yeah, I know it's supposed to be rubbish, but I'll pick it up anyway. And that is Bubsy 3D. Hold it like that. Tilt it down, you get rid of the glare. There you go. Bubsy 3D. Um, decent condition. The inlay's a bit folded over, but it's just slid up a bit. I could easily fix that. But again, the case and whatever is in decent condition, that's Bobsy 3D, will I ever play it? I don't know, because I know it's supposed to be pretty fucking bad. But the next game I saw, Boxing Complete again, um, oh, a little tiny bit of water damage at the back of the cover, see at the top, I think it's water damage. Um, it's a Capcom game, as you can tell. But I never even knew this game was out, and I, my wife rummaged about in amongst some DVDs, and she saw it, and I was like, ooh, and I was like, how much for this? And it's like 50p, I was like, yes please. But it is, um, Resident Evil, there you go, glare, fucking glare. See the stuff we have to put up with making videos. Resident Evil Survivor, um, first person perspective game. Is it a light gun game? Yes. Compatible with a synchronized light gun, apparently. And the analog sticks. So I never ever knew there was um, a light gun style Resident Evil game. But for 50p, ping says my phone. But for 50p, you can't exactly complain, can you? Even though the, the back of the manual is ever so slightly water damaged. Can't complain with that. And the other thing I picked up, um, so I've got another couple of them recently, and I have heard of this game. It's chuck and disc, oh, it's fine. Is Silent Hill 4 The Room. Now, I mentioned in a previous video that I've never, sorry, I've got wind. But, yep, there you go. I mentioned in a previous video that I've never ever played a Silent Hill game, and I've stopped playing any. So, I might just put this one in the freezer so it can't get me at night time. But I might get around to playing it. But the PS1 games are 50 pence each and this was £2. I'll pay that, it's alright. Um, and another couple of items that I picked up yesterday at a charity shop, since I'm here. Um, went to a local town. Um, I think it was... I don't know what charity shop it was actually, like I was going to say, but they're all box complete, reasonably decent condition, some sticker residue in the front of one of them. But the first game is um, House of the Dead 3 for the Xbox, light gun game. Never knew this was out in the Xbox, I never knew, actually I was going to say I never knew the Xbox had light guns, but that's a lie, because I was aware that there was some sort of sniper scope for it. So I need to get myself a light gun, because it says light gun supported, but really um, box complete, nice condition, it's obviously come from some um, second hand shop or something at some point because it's got that in it but that was £1.50 don't mind paying that and um, next game as a game that I've heard of box complete nice condition again um, I think it's supposed to be decent I don't know how I've heard of this game actually but it's Smuggler's Run on the PS2 
And finally, there was only other PS2 game there that um, wasn't FIFA or whatever in the charity shop, the same charity shop, so I thought I'd pick it up. And it is um, Conflict Global Storm. I said PS2, didn't I? Xbox game. Xbox, no PS2. Conflict Global Storm. Um, and it says good on the front. I don't know if you can see that. See that writing? Good. So somebody thought it was good. I'll clean that off easily enough. Um, can't go wrong with that. PS1 games, I'll always pick them up in the wild unless they're destroyed. And there was a couple there that were destroyed, but for 50 pence at a car boot sale, especially for a Resident Evil game, that's fucking bargain. Can't go wrong with that. But um, what else so was it? I went to one town yesterday, a charity shop. Then I went to another town, but they'd shut the charity shop, the main charity shop in that town, early on the Saturday yesterday for some reason. And I could see the window through the window. I could see where they had the games and the boom. That's a stack load of games, probably mostly PS2, but I couldn't really see. But so I'm gonna venture back there tomorrow. And um, I stuck on my Facebook page actually that I'm in the process of cataloging all the games. Um, I use a SNES. A game called SNES Collector for my SNES games. Probably won't even be able to see that fucking glare and all that shit. There you go. Um, I know you couldn't see that, but I thought I'd show you anyway. And I also found another app for iOS called Game Vault, which um, it's got loads of different. You can use it for multiple things. So I'm in the process of cataloging. Well, I'll show you. Is it even worthwhile? Can you ever see this shit? Look, what focus. You ready? Change your focus. There you go. See what I mean? I'm in the process of cataloging all the games, so that will keep me entertained this afternoon, and I'll see what else I can find um, at the charity shop tomorrow. I've been a bit, um, I've sort of been away from YouTube since I came back from Blackpool, more or less. Not really been making any content or anything. I don't know if I had like post Blackpool blues where I had such a good time that I was de depressed. No, <laughs> I don't know. Um, things will return back to normal anyway. Gonna do a couple of videos this afternoon. I've not even set up my Neo Geo CD. How bad is that? It's still sitting there. I need to plug it in. Um, I've got uh, that. What I try to say, I'll get some videos sorted out this afternoon, um, and things will continue from normal for this week with like so bad influence in Games Master and what not. Um, and also, I noticed that I've just had. It's 505 subscribers, I think, are currently sitting at 505, so this isn't like a 505 subscriber special video, or if you know what I mean, but thank you to all the subscribers, anybody who's subscribed to me, several people have shouted me out in the past, um, massive, massive thank you, it's much appreciated, but um, I'll maybe talk more about that on a 500 subscriber special video if I get round to doing it. But as always, guys, thank you much for watching, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Do you have a monkey in your pants?